The Voice. Ladies and gentlemen, yes, the uh, date has been set, October 14. We're going to talk about The Voice, the guy called Thomas Mayo, tonight on The Report from Tiger Mountain. Stick around and listen. All right, ladies and gentlemen, uh, we've got this guy, Thomas Mayo, uh, you know, and uh, I think he's pretending to be an Aborigine. He hasn't blacked up. He has got, um, uh, he's a person of colour, but I don't think he's a Torres Strait Islander. I think he pretends to be one. I think he's actually a Filipino. And I think his father was Filipino and his mother was, was a Polish Jew. So it's sort of a Filipino-Jewish mix. Maybe that's what we're getting. Maybe we're getting a Filipino and Jewish voice to Parliament. I really don't know. But he's been one of the major people behind The Voice. And uh, he's written a book on it, as a matter of fact. And, you know, he's obviously been in, in a, a quite... Uh, chummy with uh, uh, Lieb, Mr. Liebler uh, for the Jewish community, who's also uh, one of the major spokespeople for The Voice. Then you've got obviously The Monthly, owned by Maury Schwartz. Um, they, they promote the uh, the Voice every single issue. And then you've got people like, I just have to put my glasses on, you've got, of course, Mr. Pratt, um, you've got uh, Kim Rubenstein, you've got uh, Mark Dreyfus, and a whole bunch of people uh, are all pushing The Voice, ladies and gentlemen. And obviously, many people in the freedom movement uh, are into the no vote. Um, they're not interested in um, you know a divisive identity politics being inserted into our constitution obviously that's the opinion of uh, us here and uh, you've got to ask you know who, what's the deal with this guy Thomas Mayo you know who is he I mean why is this person running around pretending to be an Aborigine um, and he's also been rather fond of the Communist Party he's constantly praising the Communist Party at least he did before the uh, you know the the yes and no vote has been coming along and uh, you know it appears like he's a communist and uh, a general troublemaker who talks about paying the rent. I mean, basically, I think if the yes vote gets up anybody's house, if an Aboriginal group thinks your house is sacred ground, you lose your house. It may not happen too much in the inner city or in suburbs, but it's certainly going to happen in the country. Uh, and it'll certainly happen if you want to build anything new, anything to do with, like, I don't know, maybe uh, energy or, uh, I don't know, growing, you know anything basic farming anything there'll be problems ladies and gentlemen so i think it's it's really ridiculous i think the good thing is, is i think most australians um you know are going to vote no they don't want this and even new australians um you know with, of any ethnicity are, vo are interested in voting no because they, they realize it's a kind of mechanism to um basically you know steal the way their land uh, and it's not gonna necessarily going to be run by aborigines it's going to be run by a small group of elite aborigines who are very open to bribes so you know it's going to be a corrupt instrument really for you know billionaires to, you know, get their own way in Australia. And we certainly don't want any more of that. We don't want, you know, it'll be a weapon of the Great Reset. And we don't want any of that. So we say no here at the report from Tiger Mountain. We say be careful, someone like uh, Thomas Mayo and all his friends, uh, Liebler, Pratt, Schwartz and all that gang. You know, be very suspicious of them. Well, we were voting on October 14th, so uh, that is coming up. So just remember to vote no. Get out there. Let's hope they don't rig it. And if they don't rig it, I think we're going to win. So that's it. The report from Tiger Mountain.